Hey everybody, welcome back to Mother Popcorn. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna to be talking about Guy Ritchie's new film, The Gentleman. His name is Fahok. It's spelled with a PH, so it sounds like Fahok. Please! Alright, Fahok, Kanda Fahok. Yeah. So The Gentleman is rated R and it's an hour and 55 minutes long and it's considered a crime action movie and like I said a little while ago it is directed by Guy Ritchie and then of course we do have a bunch of really good looking actors in this movie. So The Gentleman follows Mickey who is played by Matthew McConaughey who found out that he was really good at selling weed and basically ended up building an empire and so when he decides that he would like to basically get out of the game and sell his business a whole bunch of things happen. I really want to give you guys spoilers but i'm not gonna give you guys spoilers because i don't want to ruin this for you guys i think you know what i'm gonna give you guys spoilers when i hate the movie that's basically what where i'm gonna go with it okay hopefully i don't give you guys anything here we'll, we'll try the movie is very clever it's witty it's funny it's not like absolutely hilarious but it is very funny funnier than what i expected it to be we have a one leading lady in here played by michelle uh, dockery who is uh, mickey's wife and she's not like a fragile wife no she holds her own she has a, an amazing business she knows how to handle herself she really does i say right now some people like the fragile people um are going to find this movie offensive because it could be a tad bit offensive you know they are pretty naughty in this film charlie does say that word a lot and i'm assuming that's like a british thing i don't know the movie is far from perfect okay i'm not gonna say oh my god it's like the best movie ever i mean we're just at the beginning of january it does have a lot of quotable scenes uh one of my favorite ones well two Two of my favorite ones. They killed someone. No, it was the gravity that killed him. And we need to invest in parachutes. Those are technically not spoilers, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I really haven't seen all of Guy Ritchie's films. Quite honestly, with this one, this is probably like my third or fourth movie that I've seen, and it does not include any of his good movies. Um, he did direct um, Aladdin last year. Oh, yeah, no, I did not like that movie. Okay, let me go ahead and get over to Matthew McConaughey. Probably one of my favorite performances that I've seen of his in a long time. Mind you, okay, let me just clarify because I don't want you to be like, well, what about like Beach Bum and what about, was it Serenity or what? Well, the one that he was with Anne Hathaway. I don't know. I haven't seen those movies either, you guys. The beginning of the movie honestly almost gave me like his Lincoln commercial vibes. I'm not even gonna lie. To say all oh, these people were so well dressed, like younger generation, like you could be a thug, you could be a gangster, you could be a freaking drug dealer, and be in a freaking suit, you guys. You know what? You can spike fear in somebody with a suit. I mean, John Wick. Hello? Just saying. Maybe they should do a little change and then that way maybe you're not as suspect to society. I'm just saying, you know, use your brain, you guys. Like, that way you can, like, blend in. But I'm not, like, endorsing or anything. Don't come after me, you guys. It's just opinions. Opinions. Probably shouldn't have gone there, but I went there. It's me. Whatever. The big negative things that I would have to say about this film is that nobody was shirtless. Where were the shirtless scenes of Charlie? Like, I kept thinking, come on. I know this is called The Gentleman and it's a very gentleman deal. But we've seen James Bond taking off his shirt. So, ladies and to some gentlemen as well. Just go in there, prepare. I'll be the only spoiler that I'm going to give you just because, you know, in case you're wondering, am I going to see a shirtless Charlie or a shirtless Matthew? No. You're not. So I would say like the first half are nothing but flashbacks. So Ray and Fletcher, who are played by um, Charlie and Hugh Grant, um, they're also the ones that are basically, well, Fletcher's the one that's telling the story. He's trying to sell some movie rights to certain things that he knows. And I'm, I'm about to give you guys a spoiler. I don't know if that's in the trailer or not, you guys. So let me just not really say too much about that and of course eventually we do end up in present time before i finish this review off i cannot not say nothing about colin farrell because he was phenomenal he plays coach um he basically teaches a group of of youngsters um some boxing skills or like mma fighting skills i don't know he's really cool like his boys get into some trouble and so now since he's responsible for them has to take care of things to make things right. I really, really like this movie a lot. 
honestly say that so far it's my favorite movie of 2020 um now it did release here um in the u.s january 24th i did forget to say that earlier um but it was already released in the uk so if you've seen the gentleman let me know down below what you guys thought about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it or is it just not for you if you haven't seen it are you looking forward to seeing it um i'm gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn rating if they were maybe shirtless it would have got a large popcorn rating but no it's going to medium and um, again, it's really, really good. It's very clever. It's witty. It's naughty. Some offensive things are there in London. They say cunt a lot. So if you don't like the word cunt, this may not be the movie for you. But here, am I forgetting anything? I More than likely, I am. But I really don't want to like spoil anything for you. Before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at the sessions. Bye.